मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एम आई ऑडिबल ओके थैंक यू ओके इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर कहां तक खत्म किया था हमने इफ यू रिमेम्बर दिस डायग्राम we have done with language to re right in our uh, first lecture of language to minimize dfa we have done language to re then next topic was re to nfa with epsilon right we have drawn the diagram with nfa with epsilon and then nf in our last lecture we saw how to draw nfa with epsilon to nfa without epsilon or i can say nfa with epsilon to nfa right our next topic is nfa to dfa nfa without epsilon jo humne last time kiya tha okay to dfa do you remember what is nfa and dfa can anyone put it in the chat what is nfa and what is dfa or you can uh, unmute yourself and speak it leaves and now open yeah be a bit louder please who is this zoom tabish yeah yes it is deterministic finite automata but what is the meaning of deterministic finite automata how you say that the given uh, machine is deterministic or non deterministic how you understand whether a given machine is deterministic or non deterministic when we know to which state it will transit by given input or i can put it in other way other words priti like when the state transit to another state or uh, um, transit only once right or transit to only one state on single input right okay so that will be your dfa so is this nfa or dfa the given diagram in front of you is this nfa or dfa is this nfa everyone everyone says this is nfa how did you determine this is nfa how how did you determine that this is nfa students can go to any state on one input can go to any state nahi right? can it goes to more than one state on a given input if you see here on 0 q0 on 0 is going to q0 q1 and q2 there are three states there are more than one state okay if you see in any of this column or in any of this cell if you see more than one state okay on a given input then it is nfa okay so now what we have to do 
we have to convert this to add this NFA to DFA. What is the disadvantage if I have an NFA? Why I need to convert it to DFA? Because the machine, it is very difficult to implement. Okay, given a uh, input, the machine will not understand in which case it has to go to Q0. For example, Q0, it is reading Q, uh, it is in state Q0 and it is reading 0. Okay, so how will the machine understand when to go to Q0, when to go to Q1 and when to go to Q2? Okay, so it is very difficult to implement, implement using software. Okay, it is very difficult to implement. So what we do, we convert this to DFA. Okay, very simple steps. Just see this. What we have to do is, what we have to do is, I'll just take on uh, this one. Okay. Okay, so Q0, uh, I haven't marked the final states. I have to mark it. And I haven't marked the start state. Okay, now if this is my NFA, how to convert this to DFA? What we do is we take Q0, Q1, Q2. Jopi Hamare pas naya combination hai. Okay, whichever new combination we have in this. In this, see here we have Q0, Q1, Q2. That is one combination. Here we have Q1, Q2. We have second combination. What we do, we take all these three together as a new combination. Uh, we take it as a new state, a single state with the combination of Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, so here I'll write a new state Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, here it is Q0, Q1, Q2. So now I have created a new state Q0, Q1, Q2. Now I have to find this new state's transition on 0, 1 and 2. Okay, how to find transition of this on 0, 1, 2? What do you have to do is you have to find Q0, transition of Q0 on 0, union, Transition of Q1 on 0, union, transition of Q2 on 0. Okay. If you see, that is the formula here. See here. Delta of Q0, Q1, Q2 on 0. What it is? It is delta of Q0 on 0, union delta of Q1 on 0, union delta of Q2 on 0. Okay. I will not write this formula here, but we will directly find it. But you should know how we are finding Okay, so what it will be now Q0 on 0. What is Q0 on 0? It is Q0, Q1, Q2. Right? It is Q0, Q1, Q2. And then after that, what it is? Union, union, Q1 on 0. What is Q1 on 0 in this? What is Q1 on 0? It is null. Right? So next, union, null. Okay, I can't write null here, so I'm writing dash. Okay, so what will be my answer now? What will be my answer? Q0, Q1, Q2, union, null, union, null. What is the answer? So what is the answer here? Q0, Q1, Q2, union, null, union, null. It is Q0, Q1, Q2, right? I'll just remove this and keep this as it is, okay? You have to show that, okay? I'm, uh, I haven't shown here, but you have to show it. Is this clear? Is this clear? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? How... Is there any doubt why we have taken this Q0, Q1, Q2 here? Students, do you have any doubt why we have taken Q0, Q1, Q2? What we are doing, whatever 
<clears throat> the states because of which there is NFA, what we do, we combine it and take it as a single new state. Okay, so we have combined Q because of this, we have NFA here, right? So what we'll do, we'll combine this and take it as a new state. Okay, now Q0, Q1, Q2. Now Q0, Q1, Q2 on one. What is the answer? Q0, Q1, Q2 on one. Q0 on one, union. Q1 on one, union. Q2 on one. What is what will be the answer? I think yeah, dash. Yeah, dash. Yeah, dash. Yeah, dash. What is the answer? What is the final answer here? Q0, Q1, Q2 on one. What should I write here? Students, what should I write here? Q0 on one, union Q1 on one, union Q2 on one. Yes, it is Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2. Uh, is it clear or you want me to solve it? Is this clear? Any doubt in this? Any one of you, any doubt in this? Okay, so what is Q0, Q1, Q2 on 2 then? It is Q2. Yes, very good. Okay, so done with Q0, Q1, Q2. Is there any other combination that we can add which is forming? Is there any other uh, state that we can form? Yes, it is Q1, Q2, right? It is Q1, Q2. Q0, Q1, Q2 may be Q1, Q2 hai. Is liye hum Q1, Q2 nahi lenge? Nahi. This becomes different and this becomes different. Q1, Q2 is different and Q0, Q1, Q2 is different. You have to remember this. Okay. So it is Q0, Q1. Sorry. What it is? Q1, Q2. Okay. Who is this? Kushal, I'll be solving this. Just uh, listen carefully. Q1, Q2. How to find Q1? Now, what have we have to do? We have formed the new state. Now, Q1, Q2 on 0, Q1, Q2 on 1, and Q1, Q2 on 2 has to be found. How to find it? Q1. That is uh, delta. Delta of Q1, Q2. Q1 on 0, Q2 on 0. Q1 on 0 is null, right? What do we have to find? We have to find Q1 on 0 union Q1, sorry, Q2 on 0. Okay, so what is Q1 on 0? What is Q1 on 0? Q1 on 0, Q1 on 0 is dash, right? And then union, sorry, ye kya ho gaya? it is Q1 on 0 is I am getting this dash. dash union q2 on 0 q2 on 0 q2 on 0 is dash right so what is the answer here what should be the answer here it is null right it is null Okay, Kushal, is this clear? So we get null here. Okay. Next, 
q1 on q q1 q2 on 1 what we get q1 q2 on 1 how to find it q1 on 1 union q2 on 1 q1 on 1 q1 on 1 is q1 q2 q2 on 1 is null so what is the answer here what is the answer here it is q1 q2 yes very good okay simple right next q1 q2 on 2 right q2 q1 on uh, 2 is uh, q2 q2 on 2 is also q2 right so your answer is q2 okay any doubt in the students so is there any other uh, students you have to remember that why we take a new state okay why, when we combine something and take a new state aisa bhi ho sakta hai ki yahan pe naya aur naya state aa jaye for example yahan pe aa gaya mera q0 q2 for example okay q0 q2 now this is also a new state which is forming nfa right so even this has to be added next to this again okay we may get new state when we combine it and find it okay in this we don't have in this we don't have so we'll stop it we'll see is there any other new combination yahan pe aagya q0 q1 q2 already hai right yahan pe to null aagya no not required yahan pe hame hamare paas q1 q2 hai and q1 to q2 already hai q2 is a single state any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Till here? Any doubt till here, students? Any doubt till here? Okay. Now, check this. Ye ho gaya apna? Okay, ye humne DFA kar diya. Fine. Now, we have to see, is there any final state here? Is there any final state here? Okay. So, what? how to find it? We have to check which is the final state in our NFA. Which is the final state in NFA. Yaha to Q0, Q1, Q2, Tino hai. Okay. So, if that final state is in this combination. Agar yaha ka jo final state hai. Agar wo final state is combination mein hai. Then that becomes final state. Because we have only that combination here. We have only that combination. We have yahan pe. Yahan tak apna NFA tha, right? So, we saw that Q0, Q1, Q2 ka combination hai yahan pe. Aur Q1, Q2 ka combination hai yahan pe. To humne sirf wo do liya. And then again we check. Do we have any other combinations? We don't have any other combinations. So, we stopped it here. Is this clear or just? Any other doubt students? Students, any other doubt? See this? Again, we got all as final states. We got all as final states. Okay, why? Because you have pick Q0, Q1, Q2, Tino final state. Tha. Okay. For example, in some case, if I have only Q0 as my final state, then which would be included in final states? Which would be included in final states? If only Q0 was my final state and Q1, Q2 was not final state, then we would have Q0, Q1, Q2. Only Q0, Q1, Q2 would be the final, next final state. Okay, Q1, Q2 would not be our final state. I hope this is clear. I hope this is clear when to stop this. When to stop this. Okay, if you get new state, you have to again take that state and find its transition. If I get new more states, again, I have to take that state and go for the uh, transitions to find the transitions. I have, we have to add here in the state table 
all the combinations that we get here. Is this clear? Is this clear, students? Any doubt in this? Okay. And uh, students, uh, I have only three answers here. Why? I got only three people have submitted this. Okay, this whatever you submit will be considered as your assignment. Okay, whatever you solve here and submit, that will be considered as your assignment. Remember that. Okay, so the same thing what we have done there. Okay, see this. Okay, find Yevala table. I hope there is no doubt in this table. Shall we move on to the next step? If there is any doubt, let me know. Okay, I'll give you the attendance. I don't want the students who appear late to give the attendance. Okay, I'll take another attendance at the end. Because I have two lectures today. Second lecture ka attendance baad mein hoga. Not accepting, I'll just give. Okay. 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 Is there any doubt on this? If no, we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So this is done. What has, what should be the next step? Now we have to draw the diagram. We have to minimize it, right? So for that, what we'll do, it is, it looks very weird writing Q0, Q1, Q2 in the circle, right? It doesn't look good. So what we'll do, we'll just rename it. I'll rename this as A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Instead of Q0, Q1, Q2, what we'll have here, we'll have D here. We'll have E here. Okay. So what we'll have it, I'll just take another grid. Okay, so I have renamed it as A, B, C, D, E. I think uh, we have five, right? One, two, three, four, five. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so now tell me where does A on zero goes to? A on zero. A on zero. According to our renaming, A on zero goes to D, right? Okay, A on zero goes to D. Okay, I hope you understood the renaming, right? A on one, A on one goes to, A on one goes to, students, please be quick. A on one goes to E, okay? And then A on two goes to E, A on two, A on two goes to 
A on two. It is C. Okay. So similarly, I have filled it here. Just check this. Okay, the same thing. Any doubt in this? Just renaming it and putting the name. Okay, putting the new name. हमने Q0, Q1, Q2 को D दिया था, तो यहाँ पे D दे दिए. Okay. Now is this NFA or DFA? Is this NFA or DFA? It is DFA. If you see, there is no two states in any of the cell, right? There is no two states in any of the cell. So this is our DFA. Okay. So for that, this is the diagram for DFA. Okay. Any doubt till here? Any doubt till here? No? Fine. Great. Okay. So now we have to move on to minimization of DFA. Ye ho gaya apna DFA ho gaya, right? So if you remember this, our last step remaining is minimized DFA, right? Minimized DFA. So we'll move on to minimized minimization of DFA. Okay. So this is the last step. Okay. So uh, you have to uh, listen to this carefully. Okay. So uh, while minimization, there are a few constraints that we have to keep in mind. Okay. So that we'll see. Minimization of DFA. There are two ways to minimize DFA. Okay, if in the question paper, if they tell you to follow that is minimize DFA using equivalence theorem, or they may tell you minimize DFA using my hill narrow theorem or table filling method. If they tell you, you have to go for that. Otherwise, whichever you feel easy, you can go for that. Okay, but you have to give the minimize DFA in the answer. Okay, first we'll see equivalence theorem okay so what is the first step is before going to equivalence theorem or my hill narrow theorem you have to eliminate the states okay see look into this sorry look into this diagram okay this okay we have to look into this diagram this transition diagram okay and check whether there are any states which are dead state which are inaccessible state okay there are different states which can be deleted before going to that uh, theorem to minimize okay so that will do first if you see in this if you see in this i'll just uh, block this okay uh, yeah if you see in this okay you have to find states if you have to find states or i can say i'll put it in other words <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> the states are useful the states are useful only if the state states are reachable from the start state one thing the first thing is if the state is reachable from the start state the state is useful only if the state is reachable from the start state in this diagram is there any state which is not reachable from the start state is there any state which is not reachable from the start state Yes, very good. See, students, the states are not reachable from any other state, from any other state, if you don't have incoming start state, to chodi do, right? Agar incoming nahi hai, to wo state is, that state is not reachable from any of the state, right? So then that is useless. 
we can remove this we can eliminate b state just delete this state okay is this clear this is one thing okay the first thing what we said is the state if the state is not reachable from the start state or any other state it is useless that is first thing second thing is there may be states okay i'll just draw this I'm not giving the input, I'm just drawing it, okay? This is my final state, this. This is one, two, and three. Okay, now in this, in this, in this, is there any uh, state that is not reachable from uh, start state? Is there any state which is not reachable from the start state? Is there any state which is not reachable from the start state? One, two, and three. There are three states. And there are no state which is not reachable from the start state. Okay, all are reachable. One to two be reachable hai. One to three be reachable hai, right? Okay. So now the second uh, type of uh, states that can be eliminated from the diagram is the state which does not lie in between the path of start state and the final state. Okay, can you go to two and reach the final state? Can you go to two and reach the final state? No. Okay, so if the, the state does not lie in between start and the final state then it is if it uh, does not contribute i can say if it does not contribute to reach the final state then you can remove that state okay so here you can remove this state too okay but if i have uh, uh, this This is the arrow. Okay. Now, is the state too useful now? Or it is useless? Can we delete it? Is it contributing to reach the final state? Is there any path? Is there any path from start to final which can follow to? Right? So now you cannot delete this. Okay. So directly or indirectly, it should contribute to reach the final state. There should be some path that it contributes to reach the final state from start to final state. I hope this two are clear students. Is this too clear? Okay, one is dead state and another is inaccessible state. Is this clear students? Any doubt in this? Okay, the previous one here we saw that it is not reachable from the start state, right? And here we saw that it is reachable, but it is not contributing from start to final. So we can delete this. Okay, so these are two things you have to remember. Okay, fine. Now, what is the next step? After deletion of this, after deletion of this, we have to rewrite the state table. Ye wala table abhi B nikal ke hume rewrite karna hai. Okay? Fine? So we have to rewrite it. Draw a state transition table for the given DFA. Okay? Next. Now start applying equivalence theorem. Okay? We'll directly move on to uh, the problem so that you'll understand it better. ओके तो ये हो गया हमारा डायग्राम हमने ये डिलीट किया राइट बी को डिलीट किया बी को डिलीट किया बिकॉज इट इज अ डेड स्टेट सो व्हाट डायग्राम वी हैव वी वी हैव दिस डायग्राम नाउ वी हैव दिस डायग्राम नाउ ओके इज दिस क्लियर ओके तो इसका हमें फिर से हमें डायग्राम ड्रॉ करना है 
ओके okay? इसका हमें फिर से डायग्राम ड्रॉ करना है Okay, now what has to be done? What is the next step we have to do? Now start, take a counter variable K and initialize it with the value zero. Divide set of states into two sets such that one set contains all the non-final states and the other set contains all the final states. Okay, right? What we have to do, I'll do it here. Okay, I'll do it here. Okay, so now P0, uh, just a name, okay, it is partition. What we have to do is we have to first, we have to partition final and non-final states. Okay, for example, if you have a B to gaya apna, right? B is done. So I'll just remove this B and we'll add this. What was the answer here? Mm, C dash then this is dash and here we have b C, C, okay. D on zero is going to D. D on one is going to E. And your C. Now pay dash. is e and c i hope this is right i just check and come back a d e c it is a d e c and d ka d e c is ka c or is ka is ka e c okay so first and foremost, what you have to do is you have to find, you have to find the final states and non-final states. Okay. Yeah, sorry, final states here. So we need not do that. So everything will be in the same set. A C D E. I hope you are getting this. Okay. A C D E is in the same set because all are final sets. Okay, for example, if I had A and C final say, uh, final state and D and E are non-final state, then what we, we would do, we would take two sets, A, C and D, E. Is this clear? Is this clear, students? Any doubt in this? Okay, since we have same, uh, all final states, so what we'll do? We'll take it as a single set. That is our first step. We have to separate final and non-final states. We have to separate 
final and non final states that is the first step okay in this since we all are final state we'll take it as a same set okay and the next step whatever we apply we will be applying for two different sets if we had final and non final okay so i'll just take this as to make you understand okay yahan pe for example if i had uh, ac as final set uh, final state and de as non final the next step whatever we apply we apply for ac separately and de separately okay because this two are final states and this two are non final states like in yahan pe since we have single uh, uh, state that is all uh, our final states so we are applying on single set okay so next what is the next step what do we have to do this partition is called p0 okay hamara p0 ho gaya increment k by 1 that is we have to find p1 now what is this p1 consider all the possible pair of states within each set and if the two states are distinguishable partition the set into different sets okay to abhi hame kya karna hai so we have a c d e go to this go to a and check is there any state which has same as a okay you have to see these cells are they same c d e c so here we have d e c okay lekin d e c ke alawa agar koi aur hai to we have to separate it out we have to separate it out so we have c alag and e alag okay so what will be my p1 p1 will be a comma c as it is because they are same we have to remove d and sorry sorry sorry, sorry. a and c are not same it is a and d are same and c and e are different okay we have applied on this which are different we are we are removing students is this clear is this clear we take a and check is there any diff or uh, different from a in this set okay d is same so we keep in the same set c and e are different so we have removed from this set is this clear okay just go to this take a as key ठीक है ए लिया हमने ए का ट्रांजिशन क्या है डी ई एंड सी ओके गो टू सी सी इज डैश डैश सी सो इट इज डिफरेंट सो वी हैव रिमूव फ्रॉम दिस सेट एंड वी हैव मेड इट टेकन इट इन अनदर सेट ओके ए इज डी ई सी डी इज डी ई सी सो कीप इट इन द सेम सेट ए इज डी ई सी ई इज डैश ई सी सो टेक इट इन अनदर सेट this is our next step is this clear ishani is this clear ishani is this clear okay fine what will be my p2 abhi ye wala set hamara clear ho gaya a and d are same again we have to go to the next set which we have formed and see whether they are same or they are different okay so ए डी हमारा हो गया है तो आई कीप इट एज इट इज ओके नाउ वी हैव टू मूव ऑन टू सी टेक सी एस की नाउ ओके टेक सी एस की डैश डैश सी एंड ई इज डैश ई सी दे आर डिफरेंट सो इट विल मूव ऑन टू द टू इट विल बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दैट सेट एंड इट विल मूव ऑन टू अनदर न्यू सेट is this clear is this clear students any doubt in this there is no new, more new states that set that will we have to find hai na 
अगर हमारे पास यहाँ से ज्यादा होता राइट right? सो so, अगर इस सेट में एक से ज्यादा है तो अगेन वी हैव टू सी वेदर इट इज डिस्टिंग दैट इज दे आर इफ दे आर डिफरेंट ओके दिस विल रिपीट इज दिस क्लियर इज दिस क्लियर सो दिस इज इक्वलेंस थियरम दिस इज नोन एज इक्वलेंस थियरम ओके सिंपल इन सिंपल टर्म्स व्हाट वी डू इज वी जस्ट गो टू द टेबल ओके अगर इक्वलेंस थियरम दिया है ऐसे नाम दिया है ओके एंड व्हाट इज दैट नॉर्ड हिल थियोरम दिया है तो यू हैव टू गो फॉलो दिस अदरवाइज सिंपली व्हाट यू कैन डू यू हैव टू सी विच आर फाइनल एंड विच आर नॉन फाइनल ओके फाइनल शुड बी ऑलवेज कंपेयर विद फाइनल स्टेट नॉन फाइनल स्टेट शुड बी ऑलवेज कंपेयर विद नॉन फाइनल स्टेट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस ओके फाइनल स्टेट शुड बी कंपेयर विद फाइनल स्टेट नॉन फाइनल स्टेट शुड बी ऑलवेज कंपेयर विद नॉन फाइनल स्टेट ओके यहाँ पर तो सारा फाइनल स्टेट है तो वो वाला हेड एक हमारे पास नहीं है सो नाउ चेक विच आर द स्टेट विच आर सेम इफ यू सी ए एंड डी आर सेम C and E are different. We can see this, right? In the table, from the table itself, we can see that A and D are same, and C and E are different. So now, what is the meaning of this? A and D can be combined. A and D can be combined, or I can say I can delete D. I can delete D. One of it, A and D, में से एक delete कर सकते हैं. Okay. because they are equivalent a is equivalent to d so i have removed d okay to lekin yahan par to d hai uska equivalent kya hai what is equivalent to d what is equivalent to d which state is equivalent to d students which state is equivalent to d we have removed d because it is equivalent to a right so now instead of d i can write it as a wherever i have d in this table i can replace it by a okay so this will be my minimized dfa this is what what they say here see here a and d can be combined c and e should be kept as it is a and d can be combined humne combine kar diya is this clear is this clear students is this clear minimization of dfa using equivalence theorem okay if this is clear we'll move on to the next theorem okay this is done see this the same thing okay so ace ace is kept as it is and d is combined with a d is replaced with a okay that is your equivalence theorem next one is nerode theorem that is myfeld nerode theorem yahan pe hum logon ko kya karna hai hame ek table draw karna hai okay with all the inputs see students you have to follow this from left to right and from uh, above to below you have to write the states okay and you have to mark the final states you have to mark the final states okay and you have to mark why this is this is red is that uh, we are not considering this for filling okay we are not considering this for filling why we are not considering it for filling a on a okay a on a c on c d on d e on e are not considered okay a on a c on c that is on itself is not considered so isliye humne ye wala this one this one and this one we are making it red why then others are being made red a on c is same as c on a so we have c on a here so what we'll do a on c is red okay 
then a on d we have d on a so we'll make a on d red to yahan pe hame simple way mein kya batana hai a on a red ho gaya uske next wala pura red kar do we are not considering that c on c red ho gaya uske next wala pura red kar do d on d red ho gaya uske next wala red kar do e on e red ho gaya then we are not considering this okay i hope this is clear i hope this is clear why this are red okay because see here if i take e on c c on e fir se zarurat nahi hai na right so we will not consider this okay now what is the next step yahan to sare final hai ओके okay? अगर नॉन फाइनल होता इफ एनी ऑफ दिस वाज नॉन फाइनल फॉर एग्जांपल सी वाज नॉन फाइनल फॉर एग्जांपल ओके व्हाट वी डू ब्लाइंडली सी ऑन ए इज क्रॉस्ड सी ऑन ए इज क्रॉस्ड सी ऑन सॉरी डी ऑन सी इज आल्सो क्रॉस्ड and e on c is also crossed the transitions from non final to final will be crossed okay without seeing anything without going into state table will blindly cross the uh, what is that the intersection of final and non final okay if c was non final this would be blindly crossed c is C is non-final, A is final. So cross this. Okay, D is final and C is non-final. Cross this. E is final and C is non-final. Cross this. ऐसा होता अगर C was non-final. Okay, since C is final, we have to consider all other cells which are empty here, which are white. Okay, ये green वाला I'll come. Why I have made that green? Okay, now I'll take this here and I'll uh, solve this. Okay, I'll solve it here itself. okay now see now we have to fill all this okay we have to fill this c and a <clears throat> go to the state table check whether they are same e a e c dash dash c they are not same so put it x okay d and a d uh, okay delete ho gaya okay check this now c on a c and a they are different right c and a d e c dash dash c so we have made it cross now d and a should be compared d and a d and a they are same right so don't do anything with it cross don't write cross in that okay next d on c d and c d and c whether they are same Dash dash C and D E C. No, so make it X. E and A, E and A. They are different, so make it X. Okay, E and C, 
E and C, they are different. So make it X. E and D, E and D, they are different. So make it X. Okay, in this, you have only one uh, combination of state which are same. Okay, so we can remove that as we have done previously, we can remove that. Okay, one of this, usually we don't delete the start state. Okay, we remove the other state which is equivalent to that. Okay, we have deleted D and wherever we have D in our state table, we have replaced its equivalent A. Okay, this is Mahil Narode theorem. Any doubt in this students? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Is this clear? Everyone got this? Okay, so this is minimization of DFA. Okay, if you see, we have uh, taken this, right? This was our state table. Then we checked which is our final state and which is our non-final state. Final state should be compared with final state and non-final state should be compared with non-final state. You have to remember this. Okay. Okay. Before going to minimization, what did we do? We checked whether we have any state which can be removed before minimization. Do we have any dead state or inaccessible state? Okay. According to that, we saw that B was our dead state so we deleted it right and then we got this diagram after getting this diagram what did we do we again wrote the state table okay we designed the state table for this then after that what has to be done again minimize using equivalence theorem or use uh, my hill narode theorem Okay, now we got the, uh, this transition diagram. Okay, we got this minimized DFA and your last answer is this transition diagram. If you don't write transition diagram, then you're, you, you lose marks. Okay, if you do this and leave it, you lose marks. You have to draw this. Now you need to check whether whatever you have drawn is right or wrong. The answer that you get is right or wrong. If you remember what is uh, the RE that we had started with for this example, what was the RE? What was the RE that we got this for? RE se humne shuru kiya tha. Right, RE, say, RE to NFA with epsilon, NFA with epsilon to NFA, then NFA to DFA, and then minimize DFA, right? So, what was the RE for this? Yes, it was 0 star, 1 star, 2 star, right? So, now we'll check whether this 0 star, 1 star, 2 star, can we get that? Okay, 0 star, 1 star, 2 star, matlab epsilon aega. Epsilon, 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 right? We can have epsilon, epsilon, epsilon. Eight minute. Huh? I can have epsilon, right? Since start state is final state, I can get epsilon. Okay. What are the other uh, strings that we can obtain? How to get the string? Start from the start state and reach the final state to get the string. Okay. What is the minimum string that? can be obtained from 0 star, 1 star, 2 star, one length string. I can have 0, I can have 1, I can have 2. Anna? So can I get 0 from this diagram? Yes, I can get 0. Start from the start state, 0. Yes, it, it is reaching the final state. Can we obtain 1? Start from the start state and go to the final state. Yes, I can have just 1. Can I have two? Start from the start state A and reach the final state C on two. Yes, I can have two. Okay, similarly, any other example? 0, 0, 1, 2, 2. I say he later you may. Okay, so can we get 0, 0, 1, 2, 2? I think this is the string that 
can be obtained from zero star, one star, two star. Do you agree, students? Can we obtain zero zero one two two from zero star, one star, two star? Can we obtain zero zero one two two? Zero zero one two two from zero star, one star, two star. Yes. Okay. Now we'll check. Can this be derived using this DFA minimized DFA? जो हमने अभी अभी draw किया. Okay. Zero. Yes. Zero. Start from the start state. Okay. Obviously, we have to start from the start state A. Okay. Zero. Zero. Okay. We have obtained two zeros. फिर वो बोल रहा है हमें वन चाहिए ओके गो टू ई ऑन वन यस आई गॉट वन देन इट से इट वॉन्ट टू टू राइट सो गो टू सी वन टू हो गया देन सेकेंड यस वी कैन ऑप्टेन दिस ओके नाउ नाउ विल चेक सम स्ट्रिंग विच शुड बी रिजेक्टेड विल सी जीरो जीरो टू टू वन वन टू इज दिस The string yeah, is the string obtained from zero star, one star, two star. Can we obtain zero zero two two one one from zero star, one star, two star? Can we obtain or derive zero zero two two one one from zero star, one star, two star? Yashashri says no. Any other answer? We can't get right because it uh, the question itself is zero should be followed by one and number of one should be followed by number of twos. यहाँ पे two के बाद one है. We'll see whether we can obtain this from this. अगर ये obtain हो गया मतलब हमारा minimized DFA गलत है. ये नहीं होना चाहिए. Okay. We'll see. Zero zero. Okay. Zero zero. Fine. We got start from the start state and I got two zeros. After that I want double two. Yes. वन सिंगल टू आ गया डबल टू भी आ गया वेरी गुड टू टू हो गया अभी नेक्स्ट वन वन चाहिए एंड देर इज नो पाथ फ्रॉम सी ऑन वन मतलब वो रिजेक्ट हो गया इज दिस क्लियर इज दिस क्लियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ टू वेरीफाई द फाइनल आंसर आफ्टर वी गेट द मिनिमाइज डी एफ ए Is this clear, students? Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this, students? Any doubt? Okay. If you have no doubt, then I want you people to solve this. You people have already done only three.